In hindsight, perhaps I didn't pick the right item for the climate in which I live. All of us over at Bonamassa headquarters loved your merch video. I've written and recorded a track with the watering can, even made a music video for it. Right, hello! In a previous video, we perused through Joe Bonamassa's extensive merchandise. And by extensive, I mean in the category of hats alone, he had over 600 items. I actually checked this after, he has more merchandise on his site than KISS have. <laughs> but the best merchandise he had was the weird stuff. I'm talking Joe Bonamassa golf balls, earrings, sports bras, 14 different bobbleheads. And I decided to buy some of it. I had my sights set on the Bonamassa gardening equipment, because how is that even a thing? But we looked at the shipping and it was expensive. $200 shipping! 200 So I decided to get just one thing, the Joe Bonamassa watering can. $22 for this can and $60 shipping. An $82 investment right there. But now you know what happened in the video, here's what happened after. A few days after I posted that video, I got an email from Joe Bonamassa's team to tell me all of us over at Bonamassa headquarters loved your merch video. And I thought that was pretty cool because that video was littered with jokes at their merchandise's expense. Hey babe, I got you that pair of Joe Bonamassa earrings that you always wanted. <laughs> oh. So it's nice to see that they could take the joke. That's, that's cool of them. I then got an email from Joe's head of merchandising to tell me because of my video, they noticed an issue with the shipping for the gnome. It was $150 shipping, a bit pricey. And they have since changed that to $41, which is far more reasonable. And as a thank you, they wanted to send me one out for free. So full disclosure, I received this garden gnome for free, but I paid full price for the watering can. Now I'm actually a fan of Joe Bonamassa, I've got a few of his albums, uh, I particularly liked his work with Black Country Communion, and I also think he's the perfect case study for what success in modern music is today. He owns his own record company, he runs his own production company, he's got his own merchandise done by his own team, albeit maybe a little excessively. But while I like Joe's stuff, this doesn't mean I'm going to be pulling any punches when it comes to the jokes, and uh, well to prove this point, Let's just start with a Sigma Male grinds at meme. Your tech was nice enough to give me these Bonalocks. Let's plug the Bonalocks. Well, <laughs> I'm thrilled, because I... Well, these, you know, these Bonalocks, I mean, again, proving that I've never had an original idea in my life. <laughs> I just plaster my face on any of this junk and we're good. <laughs> it's a 1959 Les Paul. Garden Gnome, watering can. $41. shipping, $60 shipping. The Gnome has a big box, but it isn't unnecessarily big. It's a breakable object, so it needs sufficient packaging, which it got. There's no real waste of space. Thumbs up from me. For the size and weight, the Gnome is quite weighty. The new shipping price of $41 to Ireland is more than fair. The watering can, on the other hand, is still $60 shipping. It is considerably lighter. It's just the box. You could fit two watering cans in this box. It's just a waste of space. And if it's as bad for the environment as it is your wallet, well, it's not all bad though. It does depend on your reviewer. Do you like the Bonamassa box? Squeaky gives the boxes a 10 out of 10. Now it's time for a review of the actual products themselves. And to those that would ask how could I give an informed review on garden equipment, I've been doing this quite some time. I know what makes a good watering can. The gnome comes in a vibrant outer box, stating that gardens just got a lot cooler. Well, everyone else's just did. But it's got some weight to it as well. It feels like an award. It's kind of like an Oscar. As if I'd know what an Oscar feels like. Oh my gosh, thank you. I just want to thank... I want to thank Joe Bonamassa, I want to thank all of Bonamassa's team, and I want to thank my viewers and my channel members who get to see videos like this before anyone else. <laughs> There's a surprising amount of detail on the gnome too. The guitar actually has six strings, the amp has controls on it, 
and it's finished with Joe's name on the base. I just plaster my face on any of this junk and we're good. J Joe, is that you? Moving on to the water and can, it came in a nice enough box, boasting an easy fill access, and that claim is backed up. I particularly like the neck support in the box making it seem even more instrument-like. And included in the packaging were some high quality Joe Bonamassa stickers. Plaster my face on any of this junk. <laughs> Joe? Joe obviously took inspiration from Steve Vai adding a handle to his guitars. It's a hollow body telly with a humbucker in the neck and single coil on the bridge, and it's a pancake body similar to 70s Les Pauls, and is finished in sea foam green with blues we trust embossed on the front and a JB pick on the back. Plaster my face. It no joke has a really well sculpted heel that feels way better than an actual fender neck joint. It can reach all the way up to its 16th fret. The plastic of the can is thick and it isn't going to break easily, and you can tell there was actually planning in the design of it. The way the water pours from the can is actually pretty cool. And for $22, which is what it was before shipping, I wouldn't hesitate to call it a deal. Now I spent $82 on this watering can, and a lot of people would say that's insane. I'd be inclined to agree with you. However, while $82 is a large amount for a watering can, it isn't for a musical instrument. You know where this is going. I've written and recorded a track with the watering can, even made a music video for it. It's not great because it was pretty much a speed run, but it's to get the point across. I have to justify the $82 somehow, okay? <laughs> Now in conclusion, as much as I joke about this stuff, and it's very easy to joke about this stuff, 
it does feel like decent quality stuff, which is very surprising. It's not what I thought it was going to be when going into it. It's interesting conversation starters too, albeit a bit strange, but <laughs> it's probably a little bit more interesting than your standard t-shirt, and it still supports the artist that you want to support. Uh, thank you for watching, subscribe if you want to see more videos that are probably not like this one, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. $60 shipping, what the f-